people die. A lot of people sometimes. Training repeated it over and over and over until it's second nature. That's what saves you. That's what saves the guy next to you. When I was younger, I was not a very nice person. I saw my kids going to the same school that I went to, living in the same town that I lived in. And I thought about all the things that I did to damage this community. And I tried to think of a way to make up for that. I'm not talented like Mark. I can't play and I can't sing. I don't have the speaking ability of Doug. I was a good soldier. So I decided that I needed to start an organization that would help my community and to fashion it in a military form made the most sense for me. I was sitting at the house one day and Bobby showed up. He said, I want to start a militia. And I was like, a militia? He said, yeah, but I, I want to do it a little different. Many of our forefathers gave up their lives, their families' lives. Their lands, Others that I've come into contact with, it seemed that all they want to do is go out in the woods and have drills, which is a good thing, but uh, they were playing, and I'm not playing. This is about our future. You would not believe the arguments we had over using the word militia, but at the end of the day, it's what we are. It's a group of people who want to come together for self-preservation, for protecting one another, but also for improving the community. I was looking when I found this group. There's some radicals out there, you know, crazies. They're not looking for the true goal of helping out, helping America, and this group was. I went to several meetings before I joined up and found a home. This is not my militia, this is our militia. This is our family. Much does money mean? Most of our training is geared toward teaching people to work as a team. As individuals, our voices are not loud, but as a unit, we can scream louder than anybody else out there. The point of militia is just keeping the people's rights and making sure that they stay protected. We're prepared. If those rights were to be taken away, we wouldn't go down without a fight. Most of the people that are on the other side of this argument, they look at taking away honest, decent people's guns as making the world safer, and it's just not true. Guns around here are just accepted. We grew up with them. We spend our lives using them. We don't look at them like they're a threat, they're a tool, just like if I want to make pancakes, I need a, a skillet and a spatula. We're not a bunch of gun-crazed hillbillies running around in the forest. We're, for the most part, political activists, and we want to do what's right. We want to get back to the Constitution and get our country back to the way it should be. People, whatever side they're on, liberal, Republican, conservative, whoever, we need to work together to get this right. The Second Amendment is also, in case the government loses touch with the people to such an extent that what the people want or need no longer matters. I don't blame the Democrats. I don't blame the Republicans. I blame us. It's our responsibility to keep the government in check. God forbid I ever have to take up arms against my country. But my children will enjoy the rights that I have enjoyed no matter what I have to do.